If you guys want to enhance your RNG on your RPG into the next level, then you guys come to the right place. Because today, I'll be teaching you, teaching you guys how to make your very how to make how to make your art your swords and in, in your RPG game basically a bit more enhanced, a bit more come complicated in a way. Um, basically, critical hits, critical hits when you so you know, I'm just gonna show you, you guys my you guys see the tile, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna start the intro. So we'll I will get right that after the intro. Hey everyone, this is the game Dixon here. Back from our video. Hey too, I'll be teaching you guys how to how to add critical damage and missed attacks into your RPG game. So what is this critical hits and missed damage thing? So basically you guys don't know what RPG is, um basically or you guys don't know what R this is not R RPG, but you guys already know what RPG is. But basically, you guys don't know what this critical hit is in RPG, or this RPG term. It basically means um, critical damage means like you guys might have seen it before. Basically, um, you do the chance basically when you hit something, there's a chance it'll get it'll give you critical damage, and that's pretty much what the, this new kit that someone sent me about is. And um, they told me if they could do a video on it, it'll be amazing. So. I'm gonna do a video on it. I took a look at it in game, and I'm gonna see if they did it. And I'm just gonna take a look at it myself. So let's get right into it. But before we begin, if you guys do this channel, like post more content, so please be sure to subscribe, like and turn on the bell so I have channel. But also on this video, who knows? My post more content in future. Anyways, as I said, let's hop right in. So let's start things off with the main thing in this game, as we all know. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys. So let's just start with the kit. What's this? All right. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you guys the kit and how you can add it to your game. So here is a critical hit attack, as you can tell. Um, basically, what this is, is that like, basically what this is is uh, the crit this is basically the critical miss, critical and miss damage kit. And you may be wondering what, why, but this is a sword, not a critical. Well, critical. This is there's nothing else there is inside it. Well, basically what this is is that if you go into here, you'll see two things. So there's this thing called damage vent, and what and bro. bro Broadsword, I'm not sure, but um, basically, this whole K was made by Delidoof, um, who I've, who I have my, who I haven't really mentioned here before, but um, he's the person that made Affliction RPG, or uh, Affliction RPG, and uh, some RPGs that I might have not showcased before, like Havoc, yeah, Havoc, and all that stuff. Um, if you guys want to see them, please take a look at my um, top five, top ten list of RPGs below, or not below, but in my channel. But that's that's, but that's just. That's, that's the story for another day. Let's get straight into it. So basically, what you have to do is go in the. So basically, you'll see something called thing. So you see something that's called thing is called Free Me. Um, basically, in this Free Me, you'll see replace damage vent search quest service game handler with the one in, in the kit. So basically, what you have to do is just copy this. Um, or whatever you, what you, what you want to do. I prefer copying just because I'm just, it's a habit for me. Then go into service for service, go into game mode handler, go and delete this damage vent, and then paste this into here. And basically, it might not, and basically if you open it, I'm not sure if I have to open it or not, but I believe everything should be set, if not, then I'll, then I'll look into it. Um, basically, what you have to do is just copy the damage, basically what, you did, what I did there was copy it, and then paste it into service for service, game remote handler, and you get damage vent. And just paste it, and replace it with this one, basically. So yeah, um, anyways, now I'm going to show you guys the actual thing. So, I looked into this before, and I'm not sure if all this is, is needed. But, um, basically all you need, I think, is a config. Let me take a look real quick, actually. Yeah, I took a look at it, and I don't see anything anything different. So, basically what you have to do is basically copy this, open this up, and you'll see something called... And basically, what you have to do, just basically go in here and copy all, of, all this from the, in the sword you have. Um, so, basically what all this is, is that it's basically... So basically, you'll see this. this you'll, when, you open, when you open the mo weapon config, you'll see something called max damage. You'll see these new, two new, three. It's basically the weapon config and the normal kits, except it's there's actually three new things, um, or three new settings that you can base three new config options you can add, or you can modify. You got critical chance, miss chance, and critical multi. Critical chance is basically how basically if a hit when you hit it, there's a there's like a one in twenty chance of it being a critical hit. And if it is a critical hit, then that means it turn it basically it's basically the normal damage, but it's but it's, but it's multiplied, but it's doubled because it's two. And if you do three, it's triple and all that stuff. Now, and the miss chance is basically a one in one chance of it happening. Like, um, basically, a miss chance is a one and one chance of happening. I'm not sure if that's what it does, but um, 
that's pretty much that. So, so basically, what I so basically the miss chance is basically one in one of it happening. That's basically mean that I'll chance that'll basically mean it'll miss all the time and it won't do it and it won't do any damage. So what I would recommend is um. So what I recommend is pertain just to like a five or something like that. Then you're pretty much done with that. Um, if you want to make your sword, but you may be wondering, King, you we already have sword. We I have swords in my game, and I don't want to replace all of this, all the fix. Well, that's actually a fixable fix. Um, so basically, what you want to do is copy all of this. Copy this. Uh, go into, mock, go into this config. Um. Go into here. Wait one second, actually. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay. So basically, what you want to do is go into here, click enter, and then paste them into here, and basically do it for all the swords you have. Um, that goes for like um, this basically goes for all the swords. So we got game items. We got this sword, and we got the gold sword. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, iron sword. And yeah, you're gonna do it this quite a lot of times. You want to do. If uh, you got to do this kind of a lot of times if you want this to work, but um, because you know that's how stuff is nowadays, so yeah, all right. All right, so and I believe on Cray also works for bows as well, if I'm correct. Um, I'm not sure you can I'm not even test that today. <laughs> Yeah, it actually works for bows, which I actually have. I actually have. I actually did a video on um, previously. If you guys want to see that video, then um, link to that is down below, or you can take a look at my or link to that is, is you can find that in the link description. Or if not, you can find it in my um, playlist of drop RPG kit tutorials and all that stuff. So let's just um, let's put some search storage just so that we don't have to worry about later, just in case the sun does happen. So, and I'm going to play it real quick. Alright, so I'm going to test it and see if we actually got anything, see if any of these work, so uh, I'm going to take a look right now once I'm going to turn on the volume a little bit, because I don't want to, sorry really about that. Anyways, I'm going to test it out and see if it works, so if it works, we're gonna, it should, ooh, yeah, see, it works right there, like, so yeah, and you should, and you should see like a miss thing, it's, it'll say miss like that, and then if you do that, do that, and you should see, and it should be critical too sometimes, yeah, because not, now it's time to see if it works on boat too. And, okay, it doesn't work on bow, but, yeah, yeah, see, it works on bow, see? So, technically, yeah, it looks, it, I, I'm not happy, this looks really good, damn. So, yeah, um, that, technically, it's, yeah, and it should have a critical hit, too, sometimes. Um, and the only way you can fire off it has a critical hit is, is making, because sometimes it, it, it will say critical hit, sometimes. So, if I, it should, the RNG, though, is kind of not really the best, so, um, yeah. So basically, it's, it's just say something like um, the number of criticals. Like, yeah, right there. See, like you see that. Basically, how you know if it's critical is that if it if it's red, if it has red text and it has like a lot, three question three exclamation points. That's how I'm trying to tell if it's critical. And then if we do just the same thing here, we should see that it would work. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, Sandclaw. Yeah, um, same thing works for here too, or maybe not. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So. Technically, yeah, this that's pretty much yeah. It's pretty much a pretty simple for tutorial. Um, I know it's not really the most. I know it's probably not really a. An, I, I know some people might not really like this, but in my opinion, I think this is probably a pretty interesting. I think uh, again, if you really want to handle your RPG a bit more, then this is totally. Uh, this is totally a. This is, I really recommend adding this into your game, and all that. So yeah. Um and um yeah. That's probably it for this video. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like me post more content, then please be sure to subscribe. Like and turn on on the bell on this video. And who knows, might post more content in the future. Also, thank you so much. And also, credits to uh, drop or not drop it now. Um, credits to Dadludu for making this kit. It's a really amazing kit. I'm actually gonna make one more and all that stuff. I'm. If you guys have seen any more things that look pretty interesting to me to you, and if you guys have any more questions about all this stuff, and please let me know down below. I'm more than happy for it. Props to um. So thank you so much for and thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'm gonna get going now. So um, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this begins now. Peace. <laughs>